Hello everybody, this is Balji from JK, welcome on my channel. In this video, we are going to set up a Wi-Fi router for first time. This Wi-Fi router is made by Asus model number TM-AC1900. This Wi-Fi router is dual band router and really easy to set up. I will walk through step by step how you can set up first time. Before we go through the setup process, let's check what we get inside the box. Inside the box, you will get Wi-Fi router, three antennas, power adapter, Ethernet cable and some instruction manual. Instruction manual have all the information you need to log in at the first time to your Wi-Fi network. And all three antennas come loose inside the box you have to install before you use it. As you can see, I have this one in my hand, that's the new one. And exactly same one sitting on table, that's I was using from five years without any issue. So I decided to buy exactly same one. That one I have to return to T-Mobile. I'm not longer uh, in a service with the T-Mobile. As you can see, I have a two devices sitting on my table. It's totally depend on your uh, service provider. I have a Xfinity, so the way they provide you service you have to use cable modem and wi-fi router you can either use combination of both i choose not to i am using separately cable modem and wi-fi router so wi-fi router we can set up either way i'm going to use wi-fi we are going to set up wi-fi router through the wi-fi for first time now we are going to disconnect old one and we are going to connect a new one for that one I'm also going to turn power off from my cable modem. That's really important. You have to disconnect the power from your cable modem. You have to cycle power on your cable modem first time when you are connecting Wi-Fi router. Otherwise, it will not recognize your Wi-Fi router. Now we are going to connect Ethernet cable one end to the cable modem and other end to your Wi-Fi router at the blue port that's dedicated to internet service. The yellow ports you see, those are local area network or you can say Ethernet cables. You're going to connect later on if you are trying to connect any computer or TV to your router. And now we will connect power adapter. I'm going to use same power adapter because I have a same exactly model. If you are have a different uh, router before, then you need to change your uh, power adapter too. And I'm also going to connect power to my cable modem. And we will wait for a couple minutes. It can take up to four minutes to be fully ready for setup. While we are waiting, we're going to talk about a little bit about the light indication. As you can see, my Wi-Fi router have a power LED light already. And there is an internet service light came in. To fully ready and set up. The internet service light is supposed to be steady, not blinking, and your both Wi-Fi network light should on too. As you can see, this light is a little blinking. I'm waiting for solid and those Wi-Fi light, the Wi-Fi indication, there's a little light on the top. They also need to be light on. If there's any kind of a situation your light's not working, then you have to probably uh, perform the factory default mode on your Wi-Fi router or your Wi-Fi router is not good anymore now as you can see i have a wi-fi network lights power light and ethernet lights are all lights are working and i'm still waiting for my ethernet internet service light to be go steady so now i will simply go to my cell phone or you can choose either way you can choose through the your cell phone device or your computer we are going to connect through wi-fi with our router we're gonna click on setting. Inside the setting, we are going to click on Wi-Fi and we will wait to see Wi-Fi network from our new Wi-Fi router. As I can see, I can see there is two Wi-Fi network from my new router, cell spout 2.4 and cell spout 5.0. You can connect to either one for setup. We have to connect the first time to setup and we have to join network but the password is password protector. The password is located behind of your Wi-Fi router. Is have all information. First time login password and uh, username. You have Wi-Fi password. You have a Mac ID. Everything behind. You can write down on a piece of paper or you can take a picture as you wish. I'm just taking picture, so I no need to move my Wi-Fi router again and again. 
then i will click on my wi-fi network and i will choose one of them and i will join just adding my password from my wi-fi router as soon as i connect to the wi-fi then i will open google or safari when we open google or safari it will directly take to you to the salespout.router website if not, you just simply type and your web address http.salespout.router.com and it will take you to the, the router login. You basically going to log into your router. I will also leave that, uh, in, uh, that link in the description how you can log in at the first time. Also, the by default password for your uh, router. And here we need to fill some login information to a router. The login default information is admin and password is password. All lowercase, we don't need to have any capital letter or anything. Then simply we will click on login and you will be able to access inside your router. At first time, it will ask you to change your uh, login password. You have to change your password you can choose any or you can uh, just type the old password you have it then you will click on save and it will promote to your next page and next page you will see continue when you press continue you will see there's two wi-fi network names if you wish you can change name change password up to you that's actually the reason we are here we are going to change our wi-fi router wi-fi network name and password the first one is 2.4 and the second one is 5 so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to change my name but i'm going to keep the the numbers same so i can be really recognize which network i am on because i have a lot of stuff at my house uh, like a smart devices so some of the devices not working with the 5.0 they are only working with the 2.4 so i choose my last name and the number there was already 2.4 and the second one also going to use my last name plus number 5.0 then i will change my password and save at that point once we have a change our uh, network name and password we are already done we will just simply click once you simply click it will ask you to log out once you log out and you done as you can see i have a changed my network name password and i'm going to click log out so now we have also our uh, login information change if you have to log in once again to your router net router website then you have to choose your new login information you have already changed now we are simply click turn off on wi-fi then you will uh, able to see your new wi-fi name and it will uh, connect it automatically if your house have a other devices connected through the Wi-Fi then you have to connect through the new Wi-Fi network name and the new password and now we already connecting I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi let's go to the Safari and check if my Wi-Fi network is working so if I click on Google it open Google so now we are successfully set up our Wi-Fi router for the first time at this point you don't need to do anything our Wi-Fi router is ready to use that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching